Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. Now, have anyone out there seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And, of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Thank you. Now, once again, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, I'm sorry, there will be strictly a link for this one. You can read it or watch the damn video if you please. Sorry for saying a D word. Yeah, that's definitely TV14, right? Okay, now I know a lot of you know about this information because it's all over the darn internet. Okay. On the recent edition of his, the Pat Manaphy podcast, I got messed up. The WWE broadcast, Pat Manaphy, I know I messed up his last name, don't judge me, announced that he will be returning to ESPN College Game Day in August 24th. That flipping sucks because he is very good at what he does for the WWE. And the question is, what he can do? one job okay because this guy is filthy rich now if i was him it's gotta be wwe or espn game day it's gotta be one or the other yes i know um smackdown WWE is all year long and college game day is not all year long so i guess he didn't want to be bored of just not doing nothing Pat. This guy is awesome on the mic for W. So who's gonna replace him when he's gonna take a long hiatus? You know? I mean he does great for college, don't get me wrong, but he does ten times better for a smackdown of the announcers. I had a feeling this is gonna happen. I guess that's part of his contract, you know? Once college of game day is back, he's gonna do it too. I mean he he does good, don't get me wrong, but I prefer him doing the, the smackdown you know no one's gonna replace him because he has that kind of spark and that's what smackdown needs because all these other announcers before him are boring i'm sorry for saying that and we need announcers who has that kind of electrifying in his voice i'm not trying to be like the rock you know what i'm saying so all information down below maybe a lot of you don't give a darn because this is about him leaving the way and go back to college game day. So all the information. So like I said, so you ever notice that these athletes, these wrestlers do more things than one thing? I don't know why. I guess they don't want to stay home. They make so much money. You know, Pat makes probably so much money from W and ESPN. So I guess when whenever he retires, he retires from the broadcast. He dog in a gravy. Well, probably has a beautiful home and all good stuff, you know. And he's a former NFL kicker, you know, other stuff. So you know, he will be back in it in W sooner than later. Probably will be another surprise. I'm assuming this is just my bold prediction. After his W run is over with, you know, August 24th, he will return sometime at the Rumble or. WrestleMania, just keep it a surprise. Michael Cole, all those people know they just want to make it a holy crap moment for Pat. I like Pat. He does a great job for WWE. But I guess his passion is for ESPN. You know, I had a feeling he's going to return. Did you guys have a feeling he's going to return? I'm not mad he's leaving, but it sucks. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be a part of my show, the Robert Show, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Toodles. Thanks for watching.